from Rob Gardner, Professional Decorators. A few people have asked um, tips on how we tape up ready for spraying, tape up a house or whatever it is we're, we're spraying on that particular job. Um, so I just thought I'd show you a few different products that we use and a few different techniques and give you some hints and tips. So here we go. The first job we do when we come into a project is to protect the floor. Now on this particular job, there's a really nice brand new hard wooden um, oak floor down. And obviously we don't want to get any paint on it or any dust on it, but also we don't want to um, dent it or scratch it in any way. So we're using a, a special sort of corrugated plastic. It's, um, it's two mil thick. Um, it's got a bit of a sponge to it. And that works out only at about £2.50, I think, for a, for a sheet. And this is the sort of the size of the sheet, as you can see here. And of course, it's reusable. So it's really good. It's nice and quick just to lay. Um, and then you use the special tape to run down the joints, just to stop any movement on it, and also to stop any dust or anything like that getting on it. Once all the paint's dry and we're actually completely finished, we then just need to cut the tape carefully and lift it all up, have a final sweep up, and that's it. It's done. The floor will be the same underneath as it was when we first arrived. So it's a good product to use this one and it's like I say fairly cost effective. The other good thing that we can do with this product is run it just about an inch up to the skirting boards and then use some two inch masking tape, some good quality tape so it sticks well um, just to then run up to the skirting board and then when we're painting we fill in um, again we haven't got any dust sheets banging against it there's no dust going to be on it um, and we can just paint right the way down and it doesn't matter if we splash a bit or we get a bit on the masking we know we're not going to get it on the on the oak floor itself so that's for the floor. Once the floor's been done, we can then start bringing in the rest of our tools and equipment. Another product we do use, though, and we're a big fan of, is uh, Pac-X. I've done a couple of videos now on the Pac-X products. Um, this one here is for the hardwood, and we would use the hardwood sometimes on areas that don't need to have so much protection. Maybe they're, they're older floors, or the customer isn't quite as worried about them, or we don't think we're gonna um, be in the, in the job for very long. So the Pac-X one's really good. We've used it on this job also on the kitchen work, tops um, so we can just run it over the, the wooden kitchen worktops to keep those nice and clean and protected as well. The next one from Pacex that we use is the glass cleaner which as you can see is over here. So the, the sorry not the glass cleaner the glass um, protector. So this one's really good for just running straight over the glass itself. It sticks pretty well to the plastic or aluminium um, and it just means that we can just spray up to the windows without any fear of getting it on the glass. So again, it's fairly cost effective. Um, it works out to about £40 for a 100 metre row. Um, so that would last you for a good few houses. And when you consider the time it would actually take to clean off the glass after you've sprayed, then um, it's quite cost effective. So that's the two pack X products. We then use um, around the sockets we tend to use nappy sacks or bags. Again, really, really cheap. They fit straight over the sockets. We just take them off the wall a little bit and then we're not gonna get any paint on the sockets at all. So it's really quick. And then once we've finished with all the painting, we can just whip those off. We're not gonna lose the screws because the screws are kept inside the bags as well. Um, so it makes it a really nice, clean and tidy job. We then come to the different types of tape that we need. Um, we've got two main types. Both have got this really nice sticky masking tape on the top. This one here, and then we've got a smaller one here. We buy these in big bulk. Um, I think we get like 100 at a time, so they again work out quite cost effective. And they're great for just, if I come into the bathroom and show you here, uh, we've got a, an oak um, top on here. So we can just run that straight over. It's been it's nice and quick to do. Again, it doesn't matter if someone puts a screwdriver on there or if someone um, knocks some paint on it, it's gonna keep it nice and clean. And we've also put that on the, the oak window seals as well. So we use this one quite a lot um, around sometimes door frames, anything like that anywhere that we just want that extra bit of a protection where a dust sheet would still do that, but a dust sheet would maybe get kicked up onto the nicely painted door frame or door, whereas this doesn't, and it's, it's, it's nice and 
clean. We use um, various different sizes of this, like I say, we also use some where there isn't any masking tape. This would be quite good for um, running down handrails or um, areas where you need an extra sticky masking tape um, on some oak beams or something like that, where this tape, as good as it is, may not stick to, may not be wide enough. We've got different then sizes of this. The next product that we use is a plastic sheeting. Um, you can get this in various different sizes. We don't use as much as, it, as we used to because we're now using the Pac-X glass on the glass areas. And one of the reasons for that is because the, the Pac-X sticks to the glass, there's no sort of um, swaying if the, if the spray gun touches it. Whereas with this stuff here, as I'll show you on a wall, we've just taped up because we're, we don't want to get it actually on the brick. Um, as soon as the spray touches this, it's just going to do all this. Um, which is fine on, in this example, but if you're working around other doors or other windows, that can then sort of kick back onto your, onto your uh, paintwork that you've already done. Um, however, it is really good. Another example where we've used it is on the radiators over here. The radiators are staying, um, and they're staying as that sort of colour. So we've just quickly taped those up, and we've used that plastic sheet in for that. And it's worked really well, and we can get it nice and tight. So again, it's nice and easy. The next product, um, which we get through quite a lot of on a standard job anyway, is standard masking tape. We've tried a few different brands. Um, this one we like, we get this from Brewers down in our, in our local area. Um, it sticks really well and as long as it's down for about seven days you can then just pick it up without any residue or without any problems. So we we'll always have a huge supply of these in, in all of our vans and it's a good product, like I say, for just running along the edges of the skirtings or sticking back extra bit of tape. One other product we do use sometimes is good old gaffer tape, duct tape, um, partly because some areas are difficult to stick to, um, so gaffer tape usually sticks to pretty much anything. So having a roll of that is also quite handy. I know some of you will be looking at this going, what a hassle just to tape all this up for spraying, but to be honest, it's taking, if I walk you around at the same time, it's taken us um, a day just to get everything all taped up. And I believe that a good decorator would want to protect their customers' floors anyway, so that's irrelevant to whether we're spraying or not. Um, and you still surely want to protect things like sockets and glass. So there's a few things that we've done maybe that we wouldn't normally do. For example, the radiators, if you're using a brush and roller, you may not need to do that. But in general, um, you would still sort of need to protect everything to a certain degree. With the lights also, going back to the nappy bags, we've used those on the lights. Um, they're LED lights so that they don't get hot, so there's no risk of them melting or burning or anything like that. And again, taping up around the smoke alarms um, is nice and easy. So if I just show you quickly the... I've just got the spray up and running now, just sprayed out in here. Um, so again, that plastic sheeting we've used um, over the kitchen units and the pack X on the, on the worktops, and then the tape without any masking tape actually on the hand rope. So there we go, that's um, how we tape everything up, ready for spraying or even just for general um, painting and decorating. So everything's all completely sheeted, and if we have a spillage or we knock anything over, we're not gonna be too concerned that it's gonna ruin any particular carpets or flooring or anything like that. So there we go, I'm Rob from Rob Gardner Professional Decorators. If you want to get in touch um, or you would like us to come and price a project for you, then feel free to contact me. Um, don't forget to like the video and please subscribe. Thanks, bye.